Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. Today we have the 2011 non-pay-per-view DVD collection. Got a lot of Blu-rays here as well. And... In the year of 2011, they released 19 non-pay-per-view releases, uh, four of which are WWE Studio DVDs, which I don't have. So, these these few years here, I, I'm not interested in getting these studio releases, so if you have them, thumbs up for you. Um, I'm just not interested in... Uh, in WWE's uh, studio and the quality of their movies. So we got uh, 15 releases here. Pretty big for a non-pay-per-view year. You know, that's just over one a month. So let's get right into this with the Best of Raw 2010. So this was the second year that WWE would release the Best of Raw DVD, starting with 2009 and now in 2010 here, or 2011, whatever. Um, pretty good DVD set overall. You know, this isn't the best time period for WWE TV. But we had the Nexus debut, John Cena, The Miz, Orton, Shawn Michaels' retirement. And Bret Hart's return to the ring. <clears throat> I always thought this was just a kind of really plain set. Not much going into it. like, And no insert with this one either. Uh, the 2010s, 2011s had uh, no inserts. And they still had the little pocket on the side. I think it was actually in this year where they changed up the packaging a little bit. We'll see in a little bit. Next up, one of my personal favorites, the Big Show Giants World uh, three-disc set. And uh, got a frog in my throat right now, so excuse me. Um, I always I always like this DVD set. I should review it one day. You know, Big Show's been a favorite of mine since his WCW days. And I, I thought this DVD did him pretty good justice. You know, Big Show, he's had so many heel and face turns. And here we have another similar one with the uh, no insert DVD. But really cool artwork on this one. You know, from the Giant to the Big Show. Next up is one I don't have the DVD for, but the true story of WrestleMania. And no, no insert with this one either. It might have one with the uh, DVD set, but I've created my own inserts for a lot of these. This is a really good set as well. Of course, we got the uh, Blu-ray exclusives. Shots from WrestleMania 1, 3, 20. And yeah, this was a... Uh, so this is 2011... It came out, you know, prior to 27, WrestleMania 27. So I think they did a really good job with this, unlike their other uh, counterparts. Then we had the DX DVD. You know, Shawn Michaels has to make the moolah somehow. So they threw this together, One Last Stand DX. Um, I'll be honest with you, I haven't even watched this. So... I, I I started my inserts, or uh, what are supposed to be my inserts, and yeah, never got anything written down. Yeah, no, so here's the one where they changed it, and they got rid of the pocket and just put artwork on there, which a lot of fans weren't happy with, I guess. But pretty cool DVD set. I always wanted the Blu-ray for this as well. Uh, this just pretty much just highlights their run from, you know, 2009 and 10. It says it's nine hours. I'll have to watch it one day and 
give it a review. Next up, another personal favorite, The Best of Monday Nitro re was released this year. Um, the first of three volumes, really well done. You, know, you got Stan Goldberg, Flair, Rey Mysterio, the NWO, DDP, Bischoff. And then just, you know, several screenshots. Again, no no inserts or nothing. So I made my own. This one I did complete. And again, pretty cheap uh, artwork. But it's a pretty solid DVD set overall. You know, content-wise. And it wasn't like uh, every DVD was on Blu-ray either. Some of these got both. Only some of them were only on DVD. I'm not sure what the logic was there. Um, maybe they knew some would sell better. Who knows? Like like the Best of Raw, the WrestleMania, and DX all had uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. You would think the Nitro DVD would have had a Blu-ray, but it didn't. We had the greatest cage matches of all time. I think this one has a blue. Um, again, not the best representation of cage matches. I, I'm not a big fan of these these DVDs, but that's a really cool picture. Again, no uh, no match listing either, and you know, not the best artwork. Got a shot of Jeff Hardy and CM Punk. I don't even know who that is. Older shot of like Harley and someone, but have to give this another watch one day. It uh, skips my mind. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's uh, Backlund and uh, Patterson. So then we get into the next uh, Ray Mysterio DVD, The Life of a Masked Man. You know, Ray Mysterio's DVDs have always been excellent. And this one is all right. You know, I don't... You know, Ray Mysterio wasn't really known for his outstanding matches, but he was a, a hell of a wrestler. So here is probably the first one here where they changed the format and uh, actually put a match listing on there. So we got matches from ECW, WCW, and then right into his WWE run. Unlike the the life of a or the the biggest little man, that one had more of a a mix to it. This one is more of his WWE run. Starting in 2002. And the last one versus Cody Rhodes. WrestleMania 27. So they were already putting WrestleMania 27 DVDs by the time this came out. Next up, the greatest superstars of the 21st century. You know, really cool. And yeah, another cool, cool match listing. So that's my biggest pet peeve with some of these DVDs is the match listings and things like that. Uh, bare bones artwork. Some of those things could have really improved how a set looks. They don't have to put the insert, just put the match listing similar to this. Uh, really cool. This one actually features some really good matches on there. Kurt Angle and... Lesnar, Eddie versus Ray. Got Triple H and Kane. I believe that's where Kane unmasked. Got Triple H and Edge, Lita versus Trish, Batista and The Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Randy Orton, and Edge. This one's actually pretty good. Next up, not uh, OMG Top 50 in WWE history. Again, no insert, so I made my own. And, uh, this one was a lot better than its counterpart for WCW, where they pretty much just buried WCW. This one was like the kind of the most shocking moments in WWE. Really cool cover or a uh, spine. Yeah, Triple H there in front of the DX Express. That was a hell of a moment. And uh, it's weird how they didn't put uh, the inserts with the Blu-rays either. 
So there we have that. Next up, another really cool one, The Evolution of a Predator. I actually have both. I actually had the Blu-ray before the uh, DVD set. Found the found the digipack later on. This is a really cool cover. It's all embossed and whatnot. So they they put a lot of effort into Orton's DVD. They're really cool artwork. Full match listing. We got the documentary treatment. But this is also kind of like the Day in the Life documentary where they they follow him around in a, up to uh, WrestleMania 27. But it's a good documentary. It's actually really well done. So pick this one up if you have the DVD or the Blu-ray. You know. Then we got the Ladder Match 2. Crash and Burn. I will say this one I have watched. And I actually enjoyed this quite a bit. So definitely grab the Blu-ray with these these ones that uh, feature a lot of older matches. So by the time this one came out, you would have uh, different ladder matches from its uh, first counterpart. And uh, for me, I liked uh, some of the matches on here. Because with the first ladder match DVD, I've already seen those matches tons of times. With this set, not so much. So... I found myself watching this one a bit more. And that's Crash and Burn. And then here we have it. One of the greatest DVDs of all time. Sean versus Brett. Greatest rivalries DVDs. This is probably in my all-time list as, you know, one of the best sets they ever put together. And only the Montreal match is on the Blu-ray, so... If you want that match, you got to buy the uh, Blu-ray. Really cool artwork. I always liked uh, collages like this. Then we got a shot from Survivor Series 97. It's got both their induction speeches for the Hall of Fame. And pretty much every match they've ever had together. Or most of them. Documentary is outstanding with J.R. Really, really cool. This is uh, very well done. Then we had Stone Cold Steve Austin's bottom line on the most popular superstar of all time. What a mouthful for a, a DVD name. This is, again, one of the best documentaries they've ever put together. I, I believe it goes like almost two and a half hours. It's got every Austin moment there with the beer truck, the... Corvette, Bedpan McMahon, some of the greatest Stone Cold moments are all on this Blu-ray set. I believe this was the first three-disc Blu-ray, unless uh, The Street came out before this, which it might have. 20 and 0. No, I, th I think that came out the next year. So yeah, this would be... Uh, I don't know if this had a match listing on the DVD set because I don't have it, but really, really cool. This is one I highly recommend. You got about 10 hours there of Steve Austin. I still don't know why they don't, you know, beef up these sets. You know, you could fit way more than three hours on a Blu-ray. I mean, come on. Um, so they ended the year pretty good with those last two. Then we have the King of the Ring, Best of King of the Ring. Not one of my favorites, but it does actually have the insert. One of the rare Blu-rays to have an insert. Yeah, we, we got a lot of the final matches on here and some of the more better matches from King of the Ring, like Shawn Michaels and the Bulldog, Austin and Michaels. And then you got the Hell in a Cell match, had to put that on there. Taker versus The Rock. You got Sh Shane McMahon versus Kurt Angle. And then uh, some of these other ones from the uh, Regal, Sheamus. <laughs> so this one I would have liked to see an anthology set for. And then finally, the best pay-per-view matches of 2011. Pretty self-explanatory. 2011 wasn't the greatest, but I, I like this uh, artwork on here. 
with all the pay-per-view posters and whatnot. You know, pretty colorful. And you got Taker, Triple H, Punk, Cena, Mark Henry, and Orton. So there we have it, the 2011 non-pay-per-view collection. Let me know your thoughts on some of these, guys. If you got them in your collection, comment down below. As always, we'll talk to you later. Peace.